Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update, Sunday, March 24th, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. We got the G4 geomagnetic storm nine hours ago, but it has since calmed off. So the Aurora forecast is looking bleak, unless we can get some of this telemetry moving again. Keep calm. It's boom time. Snowstorm threatens blizzard conditions and power outages in the northern plains and the upper Midwest. Holy macaroni. Winter storm warnings for Minnesota, Wisconsin, as heavy snow and strong winds continue. Iowa saw rain, snow, and sleet this weekend, and there is going to be more precipitation on the way. How much snow will Minnesota get? Well, it could be over a foot in a large region. Here is the snowfall analysis from the last 24 hours. You can see that major system affecting the Northeast, bringing three feet of snow to many areas. Holy macaroni. Heavy snow also for the Sierras and Montana, Western Montana, where it actually needed it the most. And more snow is on the way as a significant winter storm across the Northern Plains continues and the upper Midwest. Severe storms in the Southern Plains as well. A significant winter storm will bring heavy snow and strong winds and possible blizzard conditions to the northern plains and upper Midwest through Tuesday morning. So buckle up. It's not over yet. Hazardous travel is expected Sunday and Monday. Isolated to scattered severe storms are forecast to develop Sunday afternoon and persist through Sunday night from central Texas into Kansas. So heed the warning and click on your county. You can see in red those blizzard warnings and watches out for four states. And let's take a look at the current position of the storm. It is huge. We still have activity here in the Four Corners region. Winter storm activity for days now, and it will continue. Take a look at this. Into Monday and Tuesday for the Midwest. Tuesday and into Wednesday before that system moves up into Canada. And another system moves into the Pacific Northwest at the end of the week here. Thursday into Friday. Let's take a look at the total snowfall as we rush into spring. Ding, ding. Here is Monday through Tuesday morning. Heavy snow is going to be on the ground for Nebraska, South Dakota, moving into Minnesota and Wisconsin. Tuesday all day through Wednesday, heavy snow for, it appears, Minnesota and Wisconsin as well as Canada there. Take a look at that. They're going to get the brunt of that on Thursday. And more snow moving into the Pacific Northwest late in the week. And by the weekend, whew, we could see more snow in the Northeast. Take a look at that through the first week of April. Seismic update. No quakes of note. Normal activity worldwide. Could be a little uptick here in Hawaii. Uh, we'll have to keep a close eye on that. As we take a look at worldwide volcano news, Madapi today to 14,000 feet, Dukono to 8,000, Sabancaya to 22,000, Popo to 20,000, Semaru to 14,000, Fuego to 16, Liwotolo, take a look at that in the lesser Sunda Islands of Indonesia, clearly erupting as we can see the lava coming from the crater. Overall, normal activity worldwide. We've got Abeko today to 10,000 feet, as well as Ibu to 7,000. And a quick look over at the Reykjanes multi-view. This is one of the longest eruptions in a series of eruptions, now going on two weeks, and has stabilized and looks to be pretty consistent over the last several days. There was some issues with some toxic gases yesterday, but... It looks like the winds have shifted and they are now moving more northerly. The big news is space weather. Both Discover and ACE spacecrafts detected a noteworthy shock early today as that CME arrived quite early, bringing us all the way to KP-8 for just three hours. Many of the stations, all of them hammered. But the subsequent times after, and that has quieted down. Now we are out of geomagnetic storm. KP4. Telemetry is looking calm. Let's refresh this. Yeah, so phi angle has stabilized, 
Plasma speed has been sitting at 800 kilometers per second. What we would need is another jump up in this to go back into geomagnetic storm. The magnetometer was off the chart during KP8, but has stabilized here. So I don't see us anytime soon going back into storm here. Goes 18 proton flux. We're now dropping out of S2 proton storm into S1, and that will be coming to, the en to an end over the next 6 to 12 hours. It's eclipse season. Did you know that there is a lunar eclipse coming up tomorrow night? Yeah, March 25th. It is going to occur around 1 a.m. Mountain Time here, 3 a.m. Eastern. So if you are up late at night, you can go out and see what appears that the uh, shadow on the moon. It's a penumbral lunar eclipse. Uh, this is saying on the 24th to the 25th. That would mean tonight, so. Hopefully, I got that date right. It says the 25th. Yes, yeah, so it will be this morning, for goodness sakes. That is the first eclipse. And then the big one, April 8th, total solar eclipse across the U.S., beginning in Mexico and ending in Maine. I hope you are prepared. And if you're still eating the garbage at fast food restaurants like Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A just announced that they will no longer serve antibiotic-free chicken absolutely disgusting. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow band. We need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. We love you. Be safe. And have a great week. Mm -hmm.